Hey guys, so today let's take a look at another Android 11 ROMs for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and this ROM is called Pixel Extended R. This is the latest Android 11 ROMs and it is taken after the Pixel uh, Experience ROM that we have always known and loved. Um, and so let's take a look at it, shall we? Let's begin. So the biggest question that anyone has to ask is how has Android 10 evolved during this whole month after my last video on Android 11 with Linux OS 18? And the question and the answer really is um, in some ways, yes, but in others, not that much. And so let's explain that a little further in today's video. So the ROM I'm using here is called Pixel Extended R as I have already mentioned. And as the next suggest, suggests, this ROM brings a whole lot of Pixel features and goodies from the Pixel 4a, Pixel 5 to our lovely Note 5 Pro. And uh, so let's talk through all of those features. Now you're probably very familiar with all of the Android 11 features that you know the ROM already, already provides. And um, for some of you who haven't uh, known all everything about Android 11, I have already made a dedicated video about that in the box on the on your top right corner. And so if you want to go there, please go here first. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and like group all of those features in like in a few sentences, and then I'm gonna talk more about the Pixel features, which um, you know is not absent on the, which is not present on the Linux OS 18. Um, so to put it short, uh, Android 11 brought a lot of new features like media controls, power menu, new power menu, uh, chat bubbles, um, notification grouping, and some privacy some privacy enhancements. Um, there's also new interaction, new animations, uh, which I absolutely love, and I'll talk a lot more about it in, later on in this video. Um, so that's all the Android 11 features. Again, if you haven't known anything about those yet, I suggest you go to my Linux OS 18 videos, okay? Then there's the Pixel features. Uh, Pixel, this Pixel ROM brought, you, brought to you like more icon shape options, uh, blur, uh, which is actually an option in the developer settings. Uh, but um, and I have actually tried it and it was really good But uh, keep in mind that blurring is a pretty taxing process And so you know on Note 5 Pro it can handle it kind of well uh, But you know you will notice more lags than you would normally do um, There's also some really nice touch uh, in the settings, you know, some nice little uh, mini enhancements. For example, there is uh, some visualizations of different settings panel when you go into different sections of the settings app, which is actually something that I never thought I want. Uh, because, um, you know, for some newcomers who, you know, use Android for the first time, they may not know what the heck is what, what the heck is that. Um, and so this is a really cool. Uh, thing to actually see and you know, it's a really nice uh, way to really get to know all the new features of Android 11 um, We have also have the new select text in the recent app menu and One thing that I really like with this and with, with this pixel ROM is that there is now a 3x3 three three grid in the quick settings very minor and it is still far from the comfortable 4x3 grid that we've seen with Android 10 ROMs but this is pretty good enough. Uh, now one thing, one big feature that is absent from this ROM and Linux 18 and AOSP Extended Android 11 that I also tested is that there is still no face unlock, right? Face unlock is still absent and um, of course this is still pretty early on. Uh, developers can still put, it, put face unlock in at any time, uh, but for now we are still lacking in that. Um, now, one big question is, what about customizations? Customizations um, are like a big thing for custom ROMs, you know, custom customizations. And um, I can tell you that one of the first ROMs to actually come with customizations, uh, that is Android 11, is AOSP Extended. Um, and I used that ROM before, but uh, it has a pretty big issue 
that I'm going to talk about that I'm going to talk about in uh, you know in the later part of this video. But for now, um, I would you know be pretty comfortable with Pixel Extended. Still has a fair share of customizations, not gonna lie. But you know, compared to the, the amazing the you know the load of you know the AOSP Extended, this is still trailing behind. Now, another big question that I'm that I have to answer here is um, what about the bugs? Have any of them been squashed, or are there are there any of them left? And of course, how about bad performance and battery life? Now, in the bugs department, they have fixed a few, but the big one, the deep sleep and Wi-Fi display, are still present. However, as again, I, as I've already talked about in the Lineage OS 18, deep sleep is not that aggressive here. You know, uh, the battery life doesn't drain that much for sleep. Well, it is still sleeping, um, which is actually a bit of a relief again. Uh, but you do need to keep that in mind. Now, also AOSP Extended fixed deep sleep, but I still don't recommend it. Now, in terms of performance, uh, this is, you know, as with, with as any tradition on Pixel ROMs, this is, this is a crazy performer. This is a very uh, amazing ROM when it comes to performance. Uh, the smoothness, the, the optimization is on point, and um, I have no complaints. Uh, the, Geek, the Geekbench score is also pretty promising as well, as it is pretty, you know, up there with a lot of Android 11 ROMs. Um, however, with a AOSP Extended, there is the performance issue. Um, you know, things would lag a lot there, and, you know, the animation would never be smooth in AOSP Extended. Uh, but with this ROM, it is, it is the complete opposite. Now another thing that I want to talk a little bit about, uh, but this is um, actually the first ROM, the first Android version that I, ha I actually have to say this, but the experience, the overall experience with using it is just a lot more enjoyable. Now thanks. Now it's pretty much thanks in part to better animation, bounce to transition, and you know, the fact that the optimization is on point. I have to say that you know Google really did a, a stellar job with you know optimizing the Pixel ROMs. Every interaction that I do with this is just um, really amazing, really fast, really smooth, and you know I don't I really don't have any complaint. If there's one big complaint, then there would be that gesture navigation. It still needs. Uh, some work like the back gesture is still like the worst thing with the, the, this navigation gesture but um, other than that I actually have no complaints this, this is actually pretty fast and uh, if you again if you like to have a speed test with uh, Android 10 I'll do that as soon as possible and the last point is battery life it's not as long as Android 10 it lasts me at five hours at most which is almost like five uh, only like sixty percent of what Android Ten gave me, uh, which is some, which is the big thing that a lot of ROMs need to address before you know this ROM goes mainstream. Of course, you can use uh, things like kernels and stuff to boost the battery life and performance. But you know, I'm talking about stock kernel here. I'm just not not I'm not really being biased or anything like that. So it is what it is. Anyways, that is uh, what what is going on with Android Eleven and where this ROM here. Um, if you want Android 11, this is the ROM for you. This is like no-brainer here. Uh, this is this is the perfect Android 11 ROM to be on right now. And until um, Havoc OS arrive, until um, Pixel Experience, uh, Linux OS 18 comes, this is the one to get, right? And I hope to see other ROMs with better customizations and even better battery life, all right? Uh, and I'm really hoping to see that. Anyways. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm really hoping, hoping that you like this video. If you do, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe and share this video to other people who might be interested in Android 11 and tell them this amazing ROM. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.